Okay. Welcome with, to Coffee with Job on Thursday and again chucking it down rain but I thought I would go outside and I am in just preparing for this I'm loving looking at Job chapter 39 and I'm back to my old pal Christopher Ash. Uh, I, his book well I've commended it numerous times and much of what I'm going to say today and indeed the rest of this week comes from that book as he goes through chapter 39 and we come to verse 5. We're learning lessons from animals and yesterday we learned about time and today we learn about freedom. Verse 5, who let the wild donkey go free? Who untied its ropes? I gave it the wasteland as its home, the salt flats as its habitat. It laughs at the commotion in the town. It does not hear a driver's shout. It ranges the hills for its pasture and searches for any green thing. I love that. Um, oh, by the way, uh, thanks to Mary. Uh, who watches this and who was amused at my talking about an electricity outrage as opposed to outage. Yeah, that's correct. And thanks to those of you who pointed me at, pointed out to me about having missed out this whole chapter. I'm really grateful for that, actually. Um, I guess I'm not the Pope and I'm not infallible. Uh, nor is he, by the way. So, what's being taught here? This is a wild donkey that's been set free and whose bonds have been loosed and who lives in the salt ash land which is dry and arid and I love this bit he look at the, he, it laughs at the commotion in the town it does not hear the dri a driver shout now <laughs> this is just brilliant imagery so here's a wild donkey saying to the tame donkeys the enslaved donkeys I'm free you're in the town but I'm out, out, I'm out in the desert, but I'm free. And I just think that's a great image. And the whole point about this, you know, the, the, the donkey can range the hills, take whatever grass it wants. The whole point about this is that this wild donkey that, that lives in an arid land has freedom, and that freedom ultimately comes from God. Who let the wild donkey go free? God. Who untied its ropes? I gave it the wasteland as its home. His freedom is under the sovereignty of God and under the freedom of God. I think it's Ash, he writes this line, there is not one inch of strange wildness that lies outside the counsel of God. It's strange, isn't it? We think we're so in control because we've got our wee houses or big houses and rooms and cars and you know we feel that we're in some degree of control and sometimes when we go out in the wild we have no control and I the, the rain this morning was absolutely chucking it down I have no control we had a lightning storm here a while ago I have no control over that we can't control the wild animals but everything is under the sovereignty of God now that whole idea of freedom we are set free, says Hebrews, to serve the living God. There are so many, you know, the, the song, Go for a Thousand Tongues. My chains fell off, my heart was free, I rose, went forth and followed thee. And we offer freedom to people. Jesus Christ, know the truth and the truth will set you free. But I love this and we're gonna, we're gonna play this, the old version, the 1650 version of Psalm 124 to the tune Old 124. I loved it as a kid because even the talk, it spoke, it seemed to me to swear, it spoke about people's bloody cruelty. But I just love the, this idea of the fowler's snare, even as a bird out of the fowler's snare escapes away, so is my soul set free, broke are their nets and thus escaped we. And I, I just, that glorious freedom that comes with Christ, but it's not a freedom that's anarchy. It's the freedom of the wild donkey, if you like, in the desert, maybe in, even in the arid desert, but able to say, I'm free. And you know, some of us, we can do that. We can look and we can see people who are wealthier, people who seem to have more pleasures and riches than we do, and yet they're bound and enslaved by them. But we've been set free. And that's a marvelous thing to celebrate. Uh, the bird coming out of the Fowler's snare. You know, I contrast that with Leonard Cohen's um, Like a bird on a wire, like a drunk in a, midness in a midnight choir, I've tried in my way to be free, but he can't. He can't be free. 
but you need Christ to be free. And I think that's a wonderful thing we have to offer to people. I love uh, the Dutch church and I was always loved it. That off, I think almost every service I would hear these words, Onze help is in de naam des Heeren, die hemel in aarde gemaakt heeft. Our name is in the name of the Lord, the one who made the heavens and the earth, citing the end of Psalm 124. Well, our help is in the name of the Lord and our freedom is in the name of the Lord. So, if you're free, join me tomorrow at the same time. God bless you. Bye.